welcome to Key Conversations, the podcast where we talk about all the things to inspire you to have a long, creative, fulfilling career. And as we are wrapping up the season, season four of basically following the process of making and releasing a record, uh, I'm going to talk about the Grammy process. So I'm going to be sharing my screen. If you are watching uh, or if you are listening, you definitely want to go over to my YouTube channel where you can watch this episode. So go to inthekey.co slash 426, I believe, or 427. Anyway, it's the Grammy episode and you'll want to see me. I'm sharing my screen. So first off, the two parts of this, let's talk about actually becoming a member of the Recording Academy and then what it takes to submit your work to uh, get nominated for a Grammy. So right now, the, the way to get in is different than the way I got in, which you had to have a certain number of songs and albums released and a certain number of credits. Now there's a recommendation process. So when you go to grammy.com slash recording dash academy academy slash membership slash join, it's a very long URL. I will put that in the show notes, grammy.com slash recording dash academy slash membership dash slash join, you will find all the information here. First, you need two strong recommendations from music industry peers. Now, as an already um, voting member of the Recording Academy, I get to recommend to people. So after your recommendations are received by the Academy, you will have to tell them more about your career. So you're basically filling out an application. And then you need to complete this by March 1st, midnight, in order to be considered for this year's class, which is what they call people that have been invited. So. Uh, apparently this year, if you sent in all the information, you should be getting your official invitation shortly. Um, this is being recorded on June, at the end of June. Uh, they just said on a webinar that they should be coming out early July. And you need to accept that invitation in order to be able to vote in this year's Grammys by um, September 15th. So once you you fill out the application after you get your two recommendations by March 1st. And then by July, they tell you if you are invited or not. And then you have to accept that invitation by mid-September voting. First round of voting, there's two rounds, starts September 30th. So you can get in just in time. So if that is you, if you have submitted this already, keep an eye out early July. Make sure you uh, accept that and don't forget about it or else you will not be able to vote this year. So um, there you go. So if you already are a member of the Recording Academy, um, you are able to recommend members by clicking on the members recommend here, or you can log in and right when you log in, um, you will see that you can you can recommend people. So cool. So now you're a voting member. I think it's like a hundred or hundred twenty dollars a year to maintain your voting status. Um, it's like any membership, which is totally reasonable. You get lots of resources and they've been doing webinars and usually, usually there's some like meetups and you, you get added to a chapter. So I live closest to New York City. So I'm in the New York chapter. Um, so there you go. So now they have a great uh, tons of resources, which are not the easiest to find, honestly, um, to submit. So if you are someone who has music that has been released uh, in the eligible time, which is September 1st of last year, to August 31st of this year. So there's a year eligibility period that goes from September 1st to September 1st, essentially. Um, so 2019 to 2020, and this is eligibility for the 2021 Grammy Awards. So if you go to grammy.com slash grammy slash awards slash rules dash guidelines, this is where you find all of the rules and guidelines for submission. And most importantly, the most important dates. So like we said, March 1st was the deadline to apply for membership for the next Grammy Awards, which are the 63rd Grammy Awards. And then you have to be uh, paid in full, obviously, in order to qualify for voting. June 1st of this year was media company registration. This is for people that own management companies, record labels, that sort of things. Um, we're not going to worry about that. And then the first round online entry process, which they call OEP, is that is... Um, their process to actually get your music submitted. So this is not a nomination. Anyone can submit their music. So this is what I'm doing today. So this started a few days ago and it goes until July 1st, uh, sorry, July 6th there. This is the first round online entry process. So this is me just entering Luminary into the new age category, making sure that it is eligible and it gets into the database so that it shows up when it is time for the first round of voting, which is September. So um, there are two rounds for online entry process. The final round begins July 15th and ends August 3rd. 
And then there are, um, there's a little bit of time around, you know, they, they give you some time to make sure that there are no errors and all that stuff. And then we've got some good old fashioned voting time. So let's talk about that. All right, I had to pause for a hot second and now I'm back um, because I had a friend call and it was really important. So if my hair and the lighting is a little different, it's because I got later in the day. So here we are now and we're talking about our actual um, sending in our own music to be considered for the Grammys, which we can do between now and July 6th or the final round is July 15th to August 3rd. So you go to grammy.com slash OEP, which is online entry process. So you go to, are you a member? And if you are, that's great. You go to their online entry process. So you have to log in and that's great that I'm logged in. And then you create a new submission or you might have one that you've been working on, which I do have. It's the name of the artist slash or dash your title. So mine is Luminary. And then it says, are you sure you want to edit? They're so great. They make sure every time you click something that it's really, really, really what you want. So you put your package name and it's for your album. Um, unless you have a craft category, which is like a, a very strange, different category where specific people are voting. So that's engineer, historical, album notes, package, composing, arranging, and immersive audio album. So I've done all that. Um, they also tell you that too many entries for the same artist in the same category may split the votes. So you don't wanna do that. Splitting the votes, not a thing we ever wanna do. Then you have all of these rights that you have to sign away. And you say, yes, I agree to these, next section. Then you're going to type in all this stuff. You wanna go from top to bottom, left to right. Be very, very careful. Give yourself a lot of time. Don't wait till the last minute. Is it a single, a track? By the way, a track is from an album. A single is released separate from the album, or is it a video? So we're gonna select album, the recording date. You're allowed to submit something that's been recorded in the past five years. So my recording date was August, 2019, and, and it's a solo. You can do duo or group, and this is if the group tours together and produces stuff together versus a collaboration, which is someone featuring someone else. So I'm a solo artist here. And my artist name is Cheryl B. Engelhart. And the album title is Luminary. And they request that even if it is a capital all caps, and that's how your branding is, that you do lowercase where it's appropriate. The album release date was February 7th. And the UPC or ISRC code, I'm going to have to go look that up and I'll do that later. And if you are an independent record label, you can put not applicable and a self-released, but on the webinar I just watched with the Recording Academy, they said to write um, independent. Distribution, where is the recording commercially available other than the artist label website? You cannot just release your record on your website and have it eligible. So um, the, the format that they like is streaming. So you don't need to send in a CD. It needs to be released somewhere streaming. So I can say Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. You can, you can just list one. Where is the recording commercially available? You don't need to put any comments unless you have um, some issues with the ISRC or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna pause it and grab my UPC so I can continue here. I actually decided to not pause this. So I use Airtable and I have everything organized for my record release and I strongly suggest that you do too. Um, in the show notes, there is my record release template that you can get um, and I would strongly, strongly encourage you to get organized. So here are the names of the tracks, my ISRC codes, everything that you need to know, the BPMs, I can send this sheet to anyone that I'm gonna, that's gonna do remixes for me. I have my metadata words, I have my, my favorite tracks when I was trying to figure out the order, and I can easily grab all my URIs and my links right here, and I can also send this to anyone that is working with me. So here I go, I grab my UPC code, and then I go back to my submission, and they get the, UPC. So the UPC is the number that's under the barcode for the album. ISRC are, um, those are the codes that are given to your actual individual tracks. So if you have an album that you're submitting, you really want the UPC. If you're submitting the ISRC code for one track, you should put in the comments that this is the ISRC, ISRC code for one track and that it is in fact an entire album. So we're going to go next section. I'm assuming this is saving. I haven't pressed save. 
And then I am not going to submit this to album of the year. So this is where we need to check off the where we're submitting it. I am only submitting this to New Age for the best New Age album. That is the only place. I have considered submitting it for engineering and mixing and all sorts of different things, but you cannot uh, submit to craft that as a separate submission. So I am done with this. New Age, best album of the year, Luminary. There we go. So here is a nice little thing. Hey, here's the stuff. It's, a, it's an album. I recorded it in August, 2019. It's solo, uh, Cheryl. It's actually July. Maybe I should go back and change that. Um, it's a little bit of both album title, the release date, UPC independent, and it's the format I'm submitting is streaming, which is what they want. They pre prefer streaming over an actual CD. Um, and it's the best new age album. And here's the category description. Um, it says this category recognizes excellent in albums of new age recordings, which mine is new age music is generally ambient, exploratory and journey like, which is literally how I describe this record, welcoming dissonance and consonants alike which I have. It represents a widening field in which various elements and influences from pop, hello, pop art artist, jazz, classical, classical pianist, folk, I'm folky, down tempo, ambient, astrophoric, electronic, and avant-garde idioms may con combine to serve the intention of wellness and introspection. Oh my God, I wrote this album to combat my own panic attacks. Hello. By merit of its historical roots, New Age music may include sacred as well as secular components, which mine does not. Um, well, secular components, not sacred. However, recordings with sacred content and intent are generally non-sectarian -sec or universal nature. Structurally, New Age compositions emphasize texture and space, which mine does. Instrumentally, the music can contain synthesized, which mine does not, and acoustic instruments, which mine does. So mine is piano, bell, and my voice are the sources of the sound, so all acoustic, but... I messed with them and reversed the audio and did all that stuff in post-production. So there is, it feels like it's synthesized with synthesizers, but it is not. Rhythmically, the music can range from meterless, which mine does, to repetitive 4-4 four, four beats. Mine is constantly has a tempo. Um, I made sure that they were above the resting heart rate. So these pieces of music would not put you to sleep like most meditation and new age music does. Um, this is meant to give you focus and um, travel from one emotion that may not be wanted to one that is like anxiety to peace melodically and harmonically the composition works to feel to serve the feel and intent this category in includes environmental recordings which mine does not have where the recordist would be considered the artist so someone recording like water for example seasonal and holiday recordings are not eligible in this category so i totally fit this category here so i know that i'm submitting to the correct category so read your description carefully and they do have people that are specific to each genre reviewing the genres and you can submit to a category and if they think that it's actually a different category they'll move it over for you so that's kind of good to know but it's also also very good to check okay we are good we're moving on to the next section the instructions here um all categories required require upload of official label copy and liner notes so i need to make my liner notes a, a file that they can read all the details in so this is where we're going to add our files um so i'm gonna pause this and get that that prepped you know but until then let's see we go to add files to submissions so we're gonna have to upload a file here and down below here um package media streaming platform only one is required so we just need one link either our amazon apple spotify title or other i do know that they prefer one of these big ones if you are submitting so just one and you need to put spotify in the spotify um tab here not the amazon it will give you an error message so if you are if your album is coming out before september 1st but you don't have it yet you can click the link is not available yet required media media here is not your album but it's the liner notes or and or all the crediting so the song titles the publishers producers etc cetera, etc cetera. and you can give this as a pdf excel sheet or word doc and i heard that they prefer a word doc so this is where we are going to assign the file that we uploaded at the top of the page, which I need to go do. All right, we're picking it up again. I'm in Spotify because I'm going to submit my Spotify link to them. And I'm going to my record and I'm going down to share and I'm clicking the copy album link. And then I'm going to quit Spotify and I'm going to come back to my submission here where they're asking for the links for the streaming platform. Only one is required. So let's give them, let's give them some Spotify there. I think that should work. And then the required media. So I'm going to assign the files. I 
uploaded my print and my liner notes. Um, so I'm going to give them, I wanted to give them both. Let's see. I'm wondering if my liner notes don't actually say all the credits. So I'm going to have to check that. All right, I had to get this going. So here are my liner notes. I didn't actually, um, I wanted to make sure that they also got the visual in there. There's that, but it, it's easier for them if they have the the docs. So I uploaded it here, added my file to the submission, and then I made sure that um, this is the right file down here. So moving on. We'll see if we get any red flags. Great. And now we're going, you must provide the information requested below and for each artist. So this is where we just put in all of our details. So we can speed up this process. You don't need to see all this. So then we come through the next page and it tells you all the things, the submission title, the recording info, it's an album. I recorded it in August, 2019, solo artist, my name, Luminary, the release date, UPC, it's an independent label, which is me, and I'm submitting via streaming, which they want, and for best new age album. And then I go, complete, but you must go and select final submit, for it to actually be submitted. So it is not technically complete. Don't be fooled. So you guys, I'm going to submit my Grammy. <laughs> this is like kind of crazy. It's something I've been working at for 17 years. So I'm getting a little emotional, but I'm going to final submit this record that I believe in more than anything I've ever created. And I just went through and double, triple checked everything. It's currently in draft status. So I'm going to go to the final submit. And it says, you may not final submit with submissions having draft in their status. Please review all draft submissions and either complete them. So somehow this thinks that I'm not complete. So we got to go through and we got to go next section, next section. I mean, I don't know. It's not complete. Let's see. Maybe it's going to tell us. Maybe there's some something that's not complete. But the idea is I'm not going to mess this up, y'all. And the cool thing is, is on this webinar, they gave us the email of the person to email to confirm that our submission came through. So guess what I'm doing? I'm going to be confirming that submission. So there you go. So we're going through all these things. I am clicking complete. I guess I just needed to click complete again once I went through. So now, yes, it says completed here. Here's my submission ID, submission name, created all the things. So I'm going to click final submit. All right, I just paused it again because I wanted to double, triple check my Spotify link and I wanted to double, triple check that I had the right version of my liner notes because there were many. So here I am, I'm completed. I'm gonna click final submit. Please be advised that once you final submit your entries, you will not be able to go back and log in to the OEP system. Are you sure you are ready? What better way to do this than in front of a lot of people watching me? All right. Okay. Oh, it's not done yet. Please be advised. They really, really want to make sure. Have you completed all your entries for this round of the entry price list? Yes, I am done. So I'm not entering this into best engineering. I'm not entering this into other categories. Although it's tempting to try to go get all the awards at once, I'm going to focus. Are you ready to submit these entries to the Grammy Awards for processing? After you submit, you will not be able to enter any additional artists or modify entries. I am okay. Um, you will be able to download your submissions list and packing label um, if you need to send something in. So that's only for certain categories. They do not require this for the category that I sub submitted to, um, but you'll get an email with a packing uh, package label. So, and it will tell you what to do. So I'm going to click final submit. Are you sure? They really want to make sure that you are very sure, which I so appreciate because this is kind of a big deal, right? I mean, this is heart and soul here. I'm going to say, okay. And then said, do not forget to send your package, your product with a package, but I don't need to print a packing label because they told me it's streaming only. So, but I'm going to print the submissions list um, of my general category here. Um, why not? I'm going to just go Apple P and print this for, you know, because why not? 
we're going to print two sided so we save some paper. Then I have an actual, you know, nice little record of this. And then, uh, I, you know what, I might as well also open with preview because then it will save it to my computer. And then I don't need a packing label, but I'm going to take a look at this and it will tell me what I need. And this is just a packing label if I were to um, need to send them something, but I don't need to. So I'm going to be able to X out of that. So congratulations to me. I have submitted for the first round. So the way this works, um, because I did not actually explain this, is there is a round where you can submit your CD. And this is where everyone votes on all of the different music and they're voting for the nominations. So this is where five are chosen. And then the second round of voting is what the Recording Academy members, which are the voting members like me, vote on. And the winners of that second round of voting is what you watch on TV when it is the Grammys Awards. So this, the fact I just submitted is not a nomination, obviously. It is me submitting to be on the ballot for the first round to become, hopefully, nominated in the new age category. So good luck to any of you that are out there that are um, eligible to release a or submit a record or a track this year. And hopefully I will see you at the Grammys next year. I cannot think of a better way to close out this season, though I have an, a funny feeling that there's going to be some more bonus content coming up. So stay tuned. Make sure you have subscribed to this podcast and you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. We should all subscribe to everyone's YouTube channels because we musicians do not get paid for our music on YouTube unless we have over a thousand subscribers. So please go subscribe. It makes a huge difference. It, it is no skin off your back. And I encourage you to encourage your fans to hook you up in that way as well. And I'm always happy to follow fellow musicians. So thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful and sort of broke down the entire process and walked you through it with me. And I am looking forward to seeing you at the Grammys.